What's going on everybody? Welcome to Joe's Madness. If you're new to the channel and have a passion for combat sports, punch that subscribe button into submission. And if you enjoy this video, take a moment and slap that like button like a pimp. Share the video with your family and friends and all over the internet if you want. And let us know down below in the comments section, do you agree with this prediction or not? Who do you want to win and how do you think they will win? So we got UFC Fight Night 111 coming to us June 17th, 2017 in Singapore. And this is going to be an epic clash in the lightweight division as we got the Super Saiyan John Tuck versus the Fireball Kid Takanori Gomi. This is going to be an epic battle I've been looking forward to for quite some time. I've been wanting to see these two guys go at it and throw down in the octagon for ever since John Tuck came to the UFC. I was like, how awesome would it be in my mind? Would it be if the Super Saiyan went against the Fireball Kid? This is going to be an epic clash as we have Gomi coming to us with 35 wins, 12 losses, with one no contest. The Super Saiyan Tuck has got 9 wins and 4 losses. Uh, right now, Gomi is coming to this fight with a three-fight losing streak, and Tuck is coming into this fight with a two-fight losing streak. It is crazy. Uh, for uh, Gomi, he actually has only won four fights in the UFC and lost a total of seven fights. He is four for seven in the UFC. That is pretty crazy. Uh... You know, will he fall to four and eight, or will he be five and seven? And uh, the Super Saiyan John Tuck, he has gotten uh, three wins and four losses since coming to the UFC. So it's gonna be interesting to see: can he make that four and four, or will he fall to three and five in the UFC? Now, I am gonna be going with the Super Saiyan John Tuck to win this one by KOTKO in the very first round. I believe he will beat the Fireball Kid Gomi in the very first round by KOTKO. Let me know if you agree with this prediction or not down in the comment section. Do you think Gomi will be able to handle three rounds with Tuck? Do you think Gomi can submit or get a KOTKO over Tuck or not? I believe that Tuck is going to win this one and go on to a nice winning streak after defeating Takanori Gomi in the UFC Singapore Fight Night 111. Now, for uh, Gomi, he has gotten, you know, he's been having a tough time as of late as he lost to uh, his last three fights. He's lost all three of them by way of TKO in the very first round, starting with Miles Jury at Fight Night 52. Then he lost to Joe Lazan at UFC on Fox 16. Then he lost to Jim Miller at UFC 200 back in July of 2016. Uh, before that, he had a unanimous decision win over Isaac Villaflag, uh, you know. So it's going to be interesting to see can he hang with the Super Saiyan John Tuck. He's got 13 wins by KOTKO, 6 wins by submission, and 16 wins by way of judge's decision. Gomi has lost 3 times by KOTKO, and that's his last 3 fights. And then he has 6 submission losses. He has 3 decision losses as well. Uh, Diego Sanchez fought him back in 2013 to uh, a split decision, actually, at UFC on uh, UFC on Fuel TV 8. Uh, he lost to Nate Diaz by an armbar back in 2011, and Clay Goudier, the Coppina, got him with a guillotine choke back in 2011 in the second round at UFC 125. Uh, you know, so, but he does have wins here and there, you know, uh, for the Super Saiyan, John Tuck from Guam. He uh, he is fighting. Uh, he's from Guam, but he fights out of the U.S. now. He's got four wins by KOTKO, five wins by submission, and one lone decision win. He's never been KOTKO'd. He's never been submitted as a pro, and he's lost four times by way of decision. So. Uh, it would be very tough, I think, for Gomi to get him uh, and beat him by KOTKO or submission in my mind. Uh, but anything can happen in history could be made if Gomi can defeat John Tuck by submission, KO, or TKO. But I am not picking that. Uh, for Tuck, he lost his last two fights by split decision against Josh Emmett at UFC Fight Night 87 and Damian Brown at UFC Fight Night 101. He did, though, prior to that, 
uh, defeat T. Hong Bang at UFC Fight Night 66 by a rear naked choke. He beat Jake Lindsay at UFC Fight Night 42 by submission heel uh, submission to heel strikes TKO. Uh, so that's kind of funny. He lost to Kevin Lee though. I would like to someday see a run back of Kevin Lee versus John Tuck when John Tuck rises through the ranks again. Um, you know, or for the first time. He lost to Norman Park actually a while back. Uh, his UFC debut, he won against Zhang at UFC on a Fuel TV 6 by unanimous decision. Um, he's got three wins, four wins by rear naked choke. So if he gets him by submission, most likely he'll get Gomi's back and submit him. But I believe he'll end up getting him by TKO or KO in the very first round as Gomi has had a hard run of things lately. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. Do you agree with me or disagree with me? Uh, if you enjoyed this video, slap that like button like a pimp. Share the video with your family and friends and all over the internet if you want. And make sure to punch that subscribe button into submission if you haven't yet here at Joe's Madness on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Combat Sports is awesome and you guys are amazing.